Good morning, my name is Chaz and I'm one of the pastors here at Journey and uh, today we begin our new sermon series called Power and Purpose, A Journey Through the Book of Acts. For this series, we've created an online devotional that you can do before or after each week. It's super easy to find and super easy to use. All you need to have is a Gmail address. So here's how you find the devotional. You can visit journeyappear.com um, and then hover over the messages tab and click on devotionals. And once on this page, scroll down and select click here for devotional. Once you click, you'll be directed to a Google Classroom where you'll need to enter the email address that you'd like to use and, and the login. And then you'll just need to click on join class. Once you're in, it'll come to this page and then a finger will point to classwork. And once you cl uh, click on classwork, you are in the devotional. You can select week one, review the scripture, rewatch the sermon, and interact with others as you answer the observation and application questions. This is a great way to spend more time in scripture and uh, the scripture we're studying and to learn from one another. You can also find a link to the Acts devotional by visiting our app. And the link is on our app's homepage. And if you don't currently have our app, well, please go to your app store, download the Church Center app, and then search for Journey. If you're new to Journey, we encourage you to text the word welcome to the number on the screen, 920-315-7789. We'll send you a small digital card to fill out, and then you can stop by the welcome desk for a gift help you get acclimated to journey. You can also text the word connect to that same number and a form will be sent to you where you can ask for prayer, ask any questions. Maybe there's just something you want us to know. The connection card is also available on the homepage in our app. Well, next Sunday we are planning a baptism. So if you'd like to be baptized, please fill out the baptism interest form located at journeyappear.com slash events or through events in our app. Now, it used to be called signups in our app. We've changed it to events. So just look for events in our app. Also next Sunday is our welcome party. So if you're new to Journey, we encourage you to get to know the pastors, uh, other leaders here at the church, and we will provide we will provide lunch. To sign up, please visit journeyappear.com slash events, or again, events in our app. Well, Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, it says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will, be enough, there will not be room enough to store it. So in this passage, the Lord presents us with a challenge. He says, Bring our tithes to his house, and present them before him. But what follows is a challenge. He says, test me in this. If I will not open for you the floodgates of heaven and pour out for you such a blessing that there will be not enough room to store it. So God is asking us here to have faith in his word. He says, test me and see what I can do with your gift. And it's God's desire not only to, to bless us, but to bless us past the point of having room enough to store it, or other translations say, room enough to receive it. But how do we access this blessing? We do so by faith. By believing that he can and will do what he says in his word. And if we choose to obey and trust in him and in his word and accept his challenge, he will prove his word faithfully every time. And to give the, the and to give a journey, there are multiple multiple ways to do this that are shown on the screen. So let's pray as we continue on in the service. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for your word, Lord, and uh, the promises that are in your word. Lord, give us the give us the, the courage to accept 
this challenge and every challenge that you present to us, Lord, and give us the courage to, to follow you. Lord, be with Pastor Mark as he opens up your word today. Give him words from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.